Nowadays, it is hard to imagine Node.js project without TypeScript and a testing framework. In this video, we will go step by step through initializing a Node.js project, adding TypeScript for type checking and configuring Jest for testing. I am in a folder, Node Template 2024, and it is an empty folder. Let's go ahead and initialize Node.js project. We'll do npm init-y. This created package.json file. Let's go ahead and install other dependencies. First, we're going to install TypeScript, TS Node, Types for Node, and add TS Config Node 20. And this is TypeScript config base for Node 20. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Now let's go ahead and create tsconfig.json file. So let's do code tsconfig.json. We're going to paste the following code in there. We are going to use an extends property and it's going to extend node.js 20 tsconfig.json. Let's click into it and see what it does. So it re references the schema and it says that the version is 20.1.0 and then it has compiler options. It uses lib ES2023, uh, the module is node 16 and the target is ES2022. It enforces the strict mode and it also puts ES module interoperability to true. So that means we can import common JS modules using import uh, thus skip lib check true and then it sets module resolution to node 16 the same as the module ts config base can be pretty useful in setting up typescript project and as a matter of fact there are several typescript bases for several projects so let's take a look at how to find them so let's switch to the browser you can type in google search typescript handbook and then you click on the typescript script handbook right here and in the left uh, bar you click on a project configuration and click on what is a TS config and right here you have an article you'll see an overview and then you're gonna find TS config basis here we have an example uh, of setting up node.js 12 TypeScript project however node.js 12 is a little bit outdated so you can click right here on github.com TS config basis and it's gonna lead you to a github repository and you click on a folder basis and here you can find bases for all the projects right we're using node js 20 because it's a current lts long time support or long term support but you can also use node 21 and node 22 you can see Nuxt, react native um, next amber so when you're setting up your project so consider using these bases all right, let's go back to our project. Back in TS config of our project, we're going to be building on top of TS config base. In the compiler option, we'll put out directory to dist. The root directory will be src. We're going to force consistent casing in file names so we don't have issues with uh, files named with the uppercase and lowercase letters. Uh, in include, we're going to put all the files from the src directory and exclude will put node modules and this directory there we don't need type checking now let's go ahead and configure jest we're going to be installing the following dependencies jest ts jest and types for jest and also we'll be using a dash dash save dev our dependencies are installed. Let's create jest.config.js file. We'll do code jest.config.js. Let's go ahead and put the following code in there. So this is a JavaScript file. So we're doing module.exports, a common JS, right? And we have a configuration object where we're using TS jest preset. We use environment node.js and we define root directory as tests. Also, we're going to be telling uh, TS Jest which files to transform, right? And we're going to be transforming .ts or .tsx files. We're not going to have .tsx files, but just in case, you know, we can just, just leave it as is. Next, we're going to have a regular expression to find the test files, right? It's going to be .test or spec, and again, TS or TSX. And finally, we're going to be 
using the following file extensions to re recognize in module resolution. Now let's jump to package.json file and we can add some scripts right here. We are going to be using TSC for build. We're going to be using jest to run the tests and in our jest.config, right, we're going to be looking for these files and we're going to be doing test watch. We're going to be running jest with a watch flag. Now let's go ahead and create an example function. We're going to be doing code src and we put utils.ts. So we created utils file in src folder and let's export function. We'll call it add and we're going to have a, b and we're going to have a simple return a plus b. So this function will add two numbers. And as you can see, A and B are underlined. So it looks like our TypeScript kicked in and telling us that we need to actually put some types here. So let's put A as a number and then B as a number as well. And you can see the error went away. Now let's go ahead and create tests for the function. We're going to create a file. It's going to be in a tests directory. So tests add.test.ts and we're going to put the following code in here we'll import add from utils and we're going to do add 1 plus 2 equals 3 and we're going to have expect add 1 2 right calling the function with 1 and 2 and the answer should be or result should be 3 let's go ahead and save it the last thing that we need to do is actually add a tsconfig.js file in tests folder. So it's going to have its own tsconfig because, you know, if we, for example, create a function here, right, we can do function and we have, can call it my function. We're going to pass it a parameter a and then we're going to return a. As you can see, um, a is not underlined in red or anything, right? It doesn't tell us that, hey, add is any, right? And we cannot have a as type any. So TypeScript is not checking types in our test. And that is why tests folder needs its own tsconfig file. So let's go ahead and do code tests tsconfig.json. And in TS config file in test folder, we're going to just simply put the following extends and it's going to be using Node.js 20 TS config base. So let's go ahead and save it. And now you can see that the TypeScript is also checking uh, our test files as well, right? Now A is underlined in red. So now it tells us, hey, you need to put the type, right? And let's put the type as string and then the error goes away. All right, we can remove this my function here. Let's go ahead, save the changes. And now we can run npm run test to make sure everything is working. We have one test and it's passed and everything works. This is how you set up your Node.js project with a TypeScript and Jest, ensuring that your code is type safe and well tested. For a modern Node.js project, it is crucial not only to have type safe and well tested code, but also to ensure it adheres to consistent style and formatting standards. Watch this video to learn how to get your code in shape using ESLint and Prettier.